lines at the check-in counters, planes taxiing to their gates. Traveler numbers at the Rogue Valley International Medford Airport soaring in a typically slower time of year. I mean, that just doesn't usually happen. It's midwinter and there's not a lot of spring breaks and stuff yet, but uh, February was a great month. More travelers means larger airplanes. Airport director Bern Case says there are about two less arrivals and departures right now compared to last year, but there are more seats this time around. Well, the 30 passenger aircraft that we had going to San Francisco, we're not seeing that anymore. Their smallest is about a 50 passenger regional jet. Having larger equipment comes louder planes, rumbling residents' homes who live right in Medford Airport's flight path. When it's at nighttime, like they come at nighttime and it's just hard sometimes. Or if like I'm on the phone, it's hard to be like, okay, hold on, give me like two seconds. <laughs> yeah, perfect. <laughs> Medford resident Kimberly Prado says she isn't concerned about the noise because the flights aren't overhead as frequently as they would be if Medford had a major airport. But she says there still are those moments when family members jump out of their seat. One time, like, they came really low and the house was shaking, so I thought it was an earthquake, and I was like, no, it's not. Bigger planes and more people going in and out of the airport's doors not only means bigger bucks for the airport itself. Not all just... Uh, the airline fee, but you know, they parked in the parking lot, they used the restaurant. A normal winter, we would have part time employees. Um, they would be, you know, working minimal hours, and right now, all of our employees are full time. Covering your news in Medford, Justin Matthews, News 10.